Shahzaid Ahmad and this is our second online class in the course of Anglo-Saxon to Restoration Period History with BS 3rd. So in previous lectures we have discussed about Romans and then after that we moved to Anglo-Saxons and after that we have discussed about Vikings and at the end in last lectures lecture we have discussed about uh, Norman conquest. So in this lecture we will discuss the era of England as well as some parts of France uh, after the Norman conquest. So the first king which we have after Norman conquest is William the Conqueror. William the Conqueror was the first uh, king of which belonged to France and he started his reign in England from 1066 AD till 1087 AD. So first of all we will discuss about his reign that how people of England accepted him as a king of uh, England and what were the what, what were different problems which he faced when he was imposing his kingdom kingship on the people of England and after that we will discuss that how he controlled uh, people. So these all are connected to one thing that how people of England accepted William the Conqueror as the king of England. So first of all we will discuss two things which are very important. First one is that he was Duke of Normandy at that very time as well as he was the king of England. Now I'm talking about the specific era 1066 AD after the Norman conquest. So first of all we have discussed that he was the Duke of Normandy and as well as he was the King of England. So now our focus will be as Normandy he was an heir of Normandy so our focus will be on the kingship the kingdom he had get from uh, Edward the confessor so how he became the king of England how people accepted him as a king of England so first of all we will discuss that there were different problems which he had faced while he was becoming king first problem was that people were not uh, people were not um, making people were not believing in him to be the king because he was not from England people wanted their king to be uh, Harold Godwinson as we have discussed in earlier uh, lectures so people were against him so he faced different problems uh, by people uh, by by normal people as well as by uh, nobles but he controlled people of England as well as nobles by uh, slaughtering them by killing them by killing different people by burning different villages so now people had two choices first to rebel against him as they were uh, uh, in rebellion at the start of 1066 AD and the second option they had was to accept his kingship um, and accept William the Conqueror as the king of England so they have chosen the second one to accept William the Conqueror as their king now in second slide we will discuss that uh, so this was about this slide was about the reign of William and the problem he faced and the control of William the Conqueror over the people now in second uh, 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 slide we will discuss about the reign of Edward uh, the reign uh, of William the Conqueror and as well as his followers now first of all before starting uh, before starting or lecturing about his sons and daughters I will uh, I will mention that do not focus on the point that he had only three sons or he had only one daughter I have uh, explained I will explain about uh, Robert William Henry and Adela in this lecture because of the reason that these characters are connected to our English language English literature history that's why I will include these four in our course in our lecture so first of all we will uh, uh, I will highlight in front of you people that uh, these were the sons of William the Conqueror after that uh, while I have mentioned the name of Adela that we will discuss uh, in our uh, upcoming slides. So first of all our focus would be on Robert Kirkroach. So he was uh, the um, eldest son of William the Conqueror and uh, after that we have William Rufus who was the second son and after that we have Henry the first about whom we will discuss in future because these two are not uh, part of upcoming lectures because they had died without uh, as or they had uh, a problem but Henry first was a king who had uh, the dynasty who had continued the dynasty of William the Conqueror so first of all we will talk about Robert Curthos if I mentioned the first point which is important in this lecture about Robert Curthos that was he was uh, his administration uh, was bad as it was considered in Normandy that a son the eldest son will be uh, will be an heir to the throne so William the Conqueror was uh, controlling Normandy and after his death uh, Robert Curthos was given the land of Normandy 
So he was bad administrator, he was weak-willed, he was incompetent, and the thing which is very important to mention that he was greedy and he rebelled against his own father in different times. So he was considered a bad king, uh, uh, a bad duke, a bad administrator, he was incompetent, he was not a good person, but one thing which led him to be famous in the history of England, that is his part in crusades. He was, uh, he, uh, was part of crusade uh, from 1096 AD to 99 AD. So he has spent his four years or three years in crusades which made him famous in England as well as uh, in, in the whole world. Uh, I will discuss uh, at the end about his death, that how he died and how he died in prison. After that, we have uh, we will discuss second son of uh, William the Conqueror, who was William Rufus. So William Rufus was the second son. He was he became king of England after the death of his father, and he attacked uh, uh, Robert. Uh, he attacked Robert uh, Carthus twice. Now here is a technical point, which you people have to uh, which you people have to understand that. If they were brothers, and if uh, Robert Curthus was controlling Normandy and Robert uh, William Rufus was controlling England, then what was the reason that William Rufus attacked Robert Curthus twice, uh, two times? So the the first reason was that William Rufus wanted to control Normandy as well as uh, England, as he was already the king of England. So he attacked Robert. Curtis. The second reason was that, as I have already mentioned, that he was uh, weak-willed, he was incompetent a ruler, so uh, Normandy was in chaos, and William Rufus wanted Normandy to be in safe hands. So these were the two reasons that William Rufus attacked twice, uh, uh, Normandy twice. So as there is written that he was a strong warrior, he was a strong administrator, he was a competent man. So he uh, uh, attacked Robert Curthus. Now here is a technical point which I have missed in our uh, classes, in previous classes, that why Robert Curthus wanted to be in Crusades. It was not because he wanted to be in Crusades. It was because he was compelled to join Crusades. When he was kicked from Normandy, when he, when William Rufus attacked Robert Curthus twice, so he was uh, William Rufus captured Normandy and he exiled Robert Curthus from Normandy. So, for the purpose of uh, uh, for for the purpose of making himself famous, or may, uh, so he joined Crusades. So that was the main reason. Uh, as we have already mentioned that uh, William Rufus died while uh, hunting, so I will leave this portion. So. Now we have the third son, which is very important for our upcoming lectures. Henry I, he was strong, he strengthened the crown, he was good administrator. So the very best example for his administration was that, I will mention a story here, when William the Conqueror uh, left uh, the world, when he died, so Robert had Normandy in his hand and William Rufus had England. Henry I had nothing in his hand. When he left for crusade, when he was exiled, at that very time, as it is mentioned, uh, 1100, uh, he was um, away, he was in Italy, and here uh, William Rufus died, and there was no one to claim the throne of England. So what he did, Henry the first came, and he claimed England, and he became the uh, king of England. So his good administration was that some people were against him. Why he was? Uh, they were against him because they considered Robert to be the heir because he was the eldest son of William the Conqueror. But Henry, uh, Henry uh, administration was so good that he controlled people, and now people were uh, following him. How he controlled uh, these people? He. Uh, he controlled uh, the process of taxes. He, मतलब उन्होंने जो है tax के जो है वो rates जो है वो कम कर दिए. उन्होंने different जो है लोगों की मदद करना start कर दिया. और इस तरह से जो है उनको बहुत ज़्यादा support जो है वो लोगों की तरफ से मिलना start हुआ. And the second part about his good administration was that he was supported by Scots because he married because he married a Scottish uh, uh, a Scottish queen, a Scottish duchess, and after that he got support from Scotland, from uh, the, the, the part uh, above England. Now here I have mentioned that he attacked uh, Robert in uh, 1106. This is another story which I'll explain uh, now. So after the death of William the Rufus, so now uh, leave William Rufus, forget about William Rufus. Our main focus would be on Robert Curthos and Henry the First and their relationship among each other. So as I mentioned that when Robert came back from Italy, from 
crusades he wanted to attack henry because he wanted the throne of england in response henry was reluctant to give him the throne so what he did robert curtos make made an army and he attacked henry the first but he was he lo he lost the war and henry won the war in return robert uh, curtos wanted him uh, wanted henry to leave him to and he will uh, leave to normandy so henry demanded uh, money in return of his life so robert curtos returned to normandy and he had uh, he had lost many of his good soldiers now uh, in england henry was advised by his nobles that it will be a good step to kill robert curtos before he would uh, make his army stronger and he would attack on england so henry one accepted the advices of nobles and he attacked on robert curtos here he uh, uh, henry one attacked normandy and he captured uh, robert curtos and he imprisoned him in cardiff so this was the whole story now uh, and at the end he died in prison so we have le we are left with Henry the first and Adela, daughter of William the Conqueror. So I will summarize this. We had three sons of he William the Conqueror and one daughter. About daughter, we will explain in upcoming slides. In uh, Robert Curtis, we have discussed these five features as well as the connection with William Rufus and the connection with Henry the first. After his death, we were uh, uh, after uh, after that we have discussed about William Rufus that how he spent his time in how he became uh, king of England and how he controlled Normandy as well as. Mm, uh, as well as we uh, and after that we have discussed that how he was killed uh, while uh, hunting how he died while hunting and after that we have discussed about henry the first his good administration his uh, strong will his support from uh, scots now in uh, in upcoming uh, in upcoming part of the lecture we will discuss the reign of henry first and after that the connection of henry first with uh, his uh, daughter now in this uh, slide as you can see we, i have mentioned henry the first as well as matilda matilda was the only daughter of henry the first only daughter means that the important daughter i don't know whether he had uh, other daughters or sons but in our history we will mention about two people first his son his only son who was drowned who was drowned means wo doob gaya tha बहुत ही छोटे उम्र में जो है वो पानी में डूब गया था जिसकी वजह से हेनरी द फर्स्ट को बहुत ज़्यादा बुरा लगा था और हेनरी द फर्स्ट बहुत ज़्यादा हर्ट भी हुए थे उसके बाद उनके उन्होंने बहुत ट्राई की कि कोई और सन जो है वो प्रोड्यूस करे बट ही फेल्ड एंड आफ्टर दैट ही रियलाइज दैट मटिल्डा वुड बी द सक्सेसर ऑफ हेनरी द फर्स्ट सो ही मटिल्डा गॉट मैरिड टू जॉफरी मटिल्डा uh, गॉट मैरिड टू जॉफरी प्लेटे जेनेट प्लेटे जेनेट जो है ये एक फैमिली का नाम है और एंजू जो है दैट इज प्लेस इन फ्रांस विच आई विल एक्सप्लेन इन लास्ट स्लाइड आई विल शो यू द मैप ऑफ एंजू सो नाउ दे आर मैरिड सो हेयर द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग विच वी हैव टू नोटिस दैट फर्स्ट वी आर कंसर्न अबाउट इंग्लैंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर कंसर्न अबाउट नॉर्मंडी नाउ देयर इज अ थर्ड प्लेस विच वी विल बी कंसर्न in upcoming lectures that is anju now we have three places so after that um, now the quiz the, now i will explain that what were the, uh, how was the relation of henry the first and matilda uh, henry the first uh, crowned matilda as a princess uh, not crowned in a sense that he had uh, made his nobles swear an oath to to make matilda Uh, as queen of england after the death of henry first what he did he made he took an oath from his nobles to make matilda queen of england after the death of henry the first but here the tragic thing happens matilda and henry first was in dispute means unki jo hai last ages mein jab uh, henry jo hai wo boodhe ho jate hain to inki aur matilda ki jo hai aapas mein ladai ho jati hai matilda kya karti hai england ko chhod ke anju mein jo hai wo aa jati hai jo ki unke husband ki ka ilaka hai abhi yahan pe jo hai king jo hai sirf aur sirf henry the first jo hai wo king hai aur yahan pe wahi reh raha hai matilda kahan pe reh rahi hai anju mein reh rahi hai jo ki ek france ki jagah hai abhi yahan pe kya ho jata hai ki henry the first ki death ho jati hai henry the first ki jab death ho jati hai to abhi yahan pe jo hai nobles jo hai wo confuse hote hain ki humne ek to jo hai oath taking ki humne ek kasam li hai ki मटिल्डा को जो है एज अ क्वीन मानेंगे हेनरी द फर्स्ट की डेथ के बाद 
और दूसरा ये है कि हेनरी दी फर्स्ट और मिटिल्डा की तो आपस में मरने से पहले थोड़े से मरने से पहले जो है वो आपस में लड़ाई हुई हुई है तो हम कैसे उस बंदे को क्वीन बना सकते हैं जिसकी एक किंग के साथ लड़ाई हुई थी और अभी किंग के कहने पर किंग ने यह भी कहा इसको कोई बनाना भी है और इसकी लड़ाई भी हुई थी अभी हम कैसे जो है इसको किंग क्वीन बना सकते हैं तो इसमें जो है एक नया करेक्टर जो है इंट्रोड्यूस हो जाता है एट दैट पॉइंट टाइम नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट एडेला दैट हाउ वाई आई मैंशन एडेला इन वेरी फर्स्ट स्लाइड सो नाउ इफ वी कैन सी दैट रॉबर्ट वॉज killed in uh, died in prison william is has also died while hunting and henry the first is also dead now we do not see anyone capable of controlling england except of uh, his daughter matilda jo ke england mein hai hi nahi aur jiske against नोबल्स भी हैं क्योंकि एक तो वो फीमेल है और दूसरा ये कि उनकी लड़ाई हुई थी अपने फादर के साथ तो नोबल कंफ्यूज है कि क्यों हम इसको बनाएं तो एडेला का एक सन है जिसका नाम है स्टॉक स्टकन ऑफ ब्लॉयस अभी ब्लॉयस जो है ये भी फ्रांस में एक जगह है अगर आप लोगों को पता हो कि विलियम दी कंकर एक्चुअली जो था वो तो फ्रांस का था नॉर्मेंडी का था तो ये इसकी जो बहन थी वो ब्लॉयस में उसकी शादी हुई थी और उसके बाद उसका जो बेटा पैदा हुआ वो भी जो है वो ब्लॉयस का रहने वाला था नाउ वी हैव द फोर्थ प्लेस विच इज़ ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट इज़ ऑफ ब्लॉयस अभी जो है हम इंग्लैंड नॉर्मंडी एंड एंड ब्लॉयस इन तीनों को जो है हम आगे की लेक्चर्स में मेंशन करेंगे कि कैसे जो है इन्होंने इफेक्ट किया डिफरेंट uh, थ्रोन्स को डिफरेंट इंग्लैंड के किंग्स को कैसे मेंशन सॉरी इफेक्ट किया और कैसे जो है ये सिस्टम आगे जो है वो बढ़ रहा है अभी जो है अगर मैं इस स्लाइड की समरी दूँ तो हमने जो है अगर उर्दू में मैं बताऊँ एज यू पीपल हैव मैंशन दैट प्लीज़ एड उर्दू लैंग्वेज ऑल्सो सो अभी यहाँ पर हैंनरी और मेटिल्डा जो है हैंनरी क्या करता है कि वो ओथ लेता है कसम लेता है अपने नोबल से कि मेटिल्डा को जो है आप लोगों ने क्वीन बनाना अगर मैं मर जाऊं तो लेकिन एंड में जो है क्या हो जाता है इन दोनों की आपस में लड़ाई हो जाती है जिसकी वजह से जो है मिटिल्डा जो है एंजू आ जाती है जो कि फ्रांस का एक इलाका है हेनरी के मरने के बाद नोबल्स कंफ्यूज होते हैं कि इसकी तो लड़ाई हुई थी हेनरी द फर्स्ट से तो इसको किंग क्वीन बनाया जाए या ना बनाया जाए तो यहां पे हमारे पास एक अलग करैक्टर है एडेला जो कि विलियम द कंकरर की क्या है डॉटर है विलियम दी कंकर की डॉटर है वो आ जाती है और वहाँ पे जो है उनका एक सन होता है स्टेकन ऑफ ब्लॉयस जो कि किंग ऑफ इंग्लैंड बन जाता है अभी इसके बाद जो है मटिल्डा और स्टेकन ऑफ ब्लॉयस की जो आपस में जो क्या कहते हैं लड़ाई होती है या आपस में जो सिविल वॉर लगता है आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस इन अपकमिंग लेक्चर्स